drums, horns, keyboards, and perhaps the most important instrument, dozens of feet moving in rhythm. This is marching band, and nobody does it better than Skyview High School. Hello and welcome to Work in Progress. I'm Erin Lark. Like its sports teams, the marching band at Skyview High School is a winning program that sets kids up for success. And like a sports team, success is earned with teamwork, practice, and a lot of sweat. Each horn, in turn, hits its cue. Each instrument is a small part of a massive whole. It's a lot of, I, I would say teamwork, it's a lot of like focusing and being in the moment rather than thinking ahead. You might have to quiet down so that other people can be heard or you play like louder so that then you could be heard because you could be the solo. A million moving parts, all under the watchful eye of director Tim Heichelheim. Always as tall as possible. Let's go ahead and get that one again. So every band has its own culture uh, and subcultures within that culture. Each section kind of finds their own personality. Um, each section has their own kind of specialty skill set as well. For example, the front ensemble here with the keyboards um, plays lots of really complex music. The drum line is focused on keeping time and keeping the groove. The wind players are focused more on melodic and harmonic content. For marching band, I play the vibraphone and the bell kit. <laughs> It's metal and it just creates this like super a dreamy kind of like a dream kind of sound like just super vibrant and uh, immersive I think is a good word. Honestly I didn't know that much about instruments I really wanted to play the tuba because it's giant I was like that's cool I'll play that but instead I played the trumpet and I was like this is cool I like this one too. Yeah. But of course they're not just playing music. Music is such an amazing way to, I don't even have a good word for it, like, I don't know, tell, tell a story. It can tell stories, it can describe a per, like it could describe a person, it can describe a situation, like it can just really tell emotion by like how it sounds, like what notes are being played, if it sounds sad or happy. We custom design our shows. So I basically we storyboard just like you would a movie. We create events within the show and then the composer writes music that would portray those events. And then I'm the visual designer, so I write all the visual that would also portray what the music is demonstrating. Music, storytelling, and oh yeah, marching. The kids actually condition for the sport just like, just like any other athletics do. They're on their feet, they're moving, they're dancing, they're breathing hard, it's a lot of cardio. Um, and then they have to do that all while maintaining a good sound on their instruments. If you're watching their feet, you can see who's in time, who's out of time, because they're going to be stepping together. I love it so much. I love constantly thinking about like everything that I have to work on. I love that aspect of it, like being like, OK, what do I have to do now? Oh, what do I have to focus on this? Like, that's just, I, I adore it. As if coordinating dozens of musicians playing and marching weren't enough. There's also dance and choreography. Um, there's character work that can be done from time to time. Uh, we also have a special effects uh, department where we have um, samples and digital audio effects that we run through a program called Mainstage. So you can see that on our synthesizer cart, there's an iMac computer that, uh, that runs all that. Um, we have a soundboard and a sound technician. We are also messing around with lights and a lighting technician this year. So we're really trying to bring a marching band into the uh, year 2022. The team competes against other bands in the area and gets to show off their hard work under Friday night lights. He's got a lot of space. He's going to have a first down and more. That's a sky view touchdown. With that many plates spinning, Things don't always go as planned. You can drop a mallet. Um, you can forget to put your vibraphone pedal down. You can, a lot of things can go wrong. Well, there's a lot of things like wrong fingerings, wrong notes. These break very easily. Uh, it's always saxophones or clarinets that are broken. Uh, it's never really a trumpet. 
with so much potential for failure, it's important to work together. You have to choose who you're listening to for time. So I'm supposed to listen to the center marimba. I'm not supposed to drift back and listen to the metronome. I'm not supposed to look up and watch the drum major. I'm not supposed to listen to anybody else except for my center marimba. You always have to look at the hashes and stuff and all the markings on the field. And if you don't look at that or you get off, you have to adjust then and there or else you're going to miss your dot or you're going to miss something or miss a note or something. Perfection takes time, a lot of it. Three and a half hour practices every Monday and Thursday and you know losing an entire Saturday for a few weeks but in the end it's just it's so worth it. You work for this product and then when it all kind of gets together it just it sounds good and you work towards that. That's what I work, that's what I love. And they're discovering that the rewards extend far beyond the field of competition, beyond music, and certainly beyond the excitement of marching in formation. It's just, I have a band family here and I love it. The Skyview Marching Band performs throughout the fall, culminating in the championship competition. You can support the band and find out more on their website, svbd.org. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Erin Lark.